Awesome. All people want the same things. They're looking for things that they think on the surface are going to give them that sense of wholeness and purpose. And so they look for sex and drugs and money and the latest fad, maybe a diet, the latest, uh, the latest drug and designer drug. And so as they're looking for these things, that of course takes them in the complete incorrect direction. It's like, you know, it's like, it's like looking for something, it's like looking, ah, here. If you ask the wrong question, it's impossible to arrive at the right answer. And so many things in life that cause us problems and pain and anguish and confusion and shame and guilt are because we're asking the wrong question. And so if I gave you the perfect map of New York City, but you're trying to navigate through Texas, it's not going to help. And that's really the problem. So what I really, what I see people deeply striving for and deeply in, in anguish about and even pain and discomfort about is purpose and meaning. And so we're looking for authenticity and we're looking for presence and we're looking for meaning and direction. But the paradox of all of those things is you can't arrive at them in a straight line. There's no way to get there from where you are, especially using the psychological tools that you're using. Because all people play five games. There are only... There are only five games that people play in life. For spirituality, sex, money, it's the same five games. And we play those games, and each game has rules, very specific rules. And if you don't know what those rules are, those rules kick your ass. And that's really the thing. Like, I was speaking with somebody recently, and I could tell that her entire life, her entire life, everything that had happened from abuse and different crazy relationships and drug addictions and alcohol abuse and all of these things shared one thing in common. All of them shared the, the, the rules of the game that she was playing and once she was in the grap, once we are in the gravitational field of a game, we have to play by those rules. We have no choice. It's, it is a gravity. Each game has a set of rules and belief systems and you have to follow those rules. What I'm here to talk to people about and to share with you is that you can break free of those rules up here. But guess what? It's going to take an entirely different way of being. Literally at the core of your being, something is going to have to change. And that is exactly the issue where psychology gets it wrong. Psychology gets it wrong because psychology thinks that it's just a series of ahas or self-awareness. But we're people, and people are messy, and life is messy, and we get horny, and we get lonely, and we get confused, and we're searching for meaning, and we can't even get there. The very thing we're looking for is like, is like water on the horizon and the closer we get, the further it gets away because we're looking for the wrong things. We're asking the wrong questions. So much of life is really about getting to the most fundamental truths about what it is to be human. And those truths, when you see them clearly and when you understand the rules of reality, the rules of how things actually work, your entire life will change. It has to. Because the very thing that you're looking for can't be found the way you're looking for it. There is literally no way to find meaning in your life by looking for meaning. There is no way to be present in your life by trying to be present. There is no way to achieve spiritual understanding or awareness 
by doing anything that focuses on spiritual awareness. And that's the paradox. That's the game. You've been sold a lie. It's not your fault. Everybody's been sold a lie. You've been told, for example, you've probably been told things about sex that either it's a really bad thing or if you do too much of it, it's a bad thing, or if you don't do enough of it, it's a bad thing. Everything sort of falls under the same category. But then one day you discover pleasure, and it's like, what's the problem here? What? Like, what? Like, why is this a problem? Right? And that's, that's kind of the, the big joke. And unfortunately, it's a joke that we all have to deal with. So, the bottom line is, everything that you think about in your head, the very things that you're worried about and most deeply concerned about, are because you believe things about the way life is that I don't believe. Let me put it this way. The question you really want to ask is not, what do I believe that you should believe? But you should ask the question, what don't I believe that you do that you want to let go of? What we really need to do is simplify. That's what really needs to happen. We need to drop away. You already have enough beliefs. You have left enough no's. You have enough rights and wrongs. You don't need more. You need less. You got to get to clearing away the, the jungle of belief systems so you can arrive at the most powerful game there is, which is the game of reality. How many minutes is that, by the way, so far? Seven, Seven minutes, okay, cool. Um, How do you feel about it? Good, I like, I like this. This is good, I have good, ins good inspiration. <laughs> um, I'm going to try and catch a little of B-roll. Okay, great. So if we're going to do another take, we can turn this off. Yeah, let's turn it off and then we'll uh, do a little... Do a little... Uh, Don't speak moving around here. Okay. <laughs>